we're Emily and Danny, and we've been traveling by van for the past four years from Alaska down to here in Chile, and hopefully to Argentina with our cat Graham and our pup Sombrita. We're up here at Chillon. We made it, and we're out of Santiago for good. We're out, I'm done with Santiago. So this morning, I'm going to make us a breakfast burrito. We slept in super late, so we better get up there soon, and yeah. Stoked to go skiing again today. <laughs> Just feels crazy to me coming back from the States where it was 100 degrees. We were swimming every day in rivers. And here we are in the van about to ski. I don't even remember what clothes you wear or anything. I think I'm just gonna throw on the onesie, make it easy. <laughs> Zippers in the front. <laughs> you wanna go outside, Grimmy? Every ski mountain that we've been to down here in Chile has been crazy high altitude and it's been pretty cold every day because it's just cold up there. But last night it was so warm, like we're definitely at spring skiing now and there are trees around which is so cool to see. Like it feels a little bit more like we're in the US but definitely spring skiing still. Excited to ski today. It's gonna be back. First day Danny's back. Ruh, ruh, ruh. Up here, look at that one. That was the one we just saw erupting. That is so crazy. We just saw a volcano erupting. Wow, this is super epic. I'm really surprised. We saw one volcano erupt right when we got to the top, and we can see another volcano over there, which is supposed to be the most active one in Chile, Via Rica near Pucón. We got some friends over there climbing it right now. This is going through trees again, finally. So good, I love this resort so far. This super long run and trees make it so worth it. Oh my gosh. Feels good after the 100 degree weather up there. Yeah, <laughs> spring skiing now. Woo! <laughs> oh. Oh. Put it done. Second time we've been hassled by Ski Patrol for not putting down the security. <laughs> we usually don't use this the security bar. thing back to the van nobody saw that <laughs> good morning we're here at Chiyan again and we are going to switch our sports Danny's gonna go snowboarding and I'm gonna go skiing and I really wanted to ski all, all season because of the tow ropes here and I'm excited to try it out again. I haven't gone skiing in like five years so <laughs> we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Okay, here's 
It's your time to start something, a new sport, completely new. It's so much fun. So let's head to the top. Let's get to the top. Oi. I'm really having a great time skiing. I did hit some stuff that I thought was a little too hard, but I handled it with grace. I don't think I really fell. It's so much harder to fall on skis than it is with a snowboard. With a snowboard, I would just be rolling down the hill. <laughs> but with skis, I'm like, oh, whoops, I'm falling over on my side. No big deal. <laughs> and, yeah. and it's like... I've seen you recover really well. But Snowboarding, that's... I really enjoy it because once you start turning, your body just keeps turning left, right, left, right. And you just feel like a little wind-up toy or something. Yeah. It's just so cool. Like. If this is your first time going out there and you're with someone that knows what they're doing, just take a lesson. Everyone gets upset <laughs> and yeah, just take a lesson, honestly. I've already taken a zillion lessons when I was a kid skiing. As soon as I put them on, I was like, oh yeah, like I remember how to do this. So, <laughs> but if it's your first day skiing or snowboarding ever, I'd say, uh, take a lesson and figure out the basics before you try and ruin your day or not like the sport anymore. Yeah. And that's basically for any sport. Just try just try with a guide or whatever. And then you'll have a great time and you'll have a lifelong hobby. <laughs> nice job. Yeah. This is crazy stuff. That was pretty good. I think I did pretty good. Yeah, that's the steepest part yet. Okay, we're back to the van. Let's see if Graham's still in the little spot I made for him by the oh, window. Oh, you walking away? Grammy, he was. Aww, He's been Grammy. chilling in the little spot Hi, I made him here. Him. So I can look out the We drove a little ways last night to wake up here in a new ski town. Wow, I was hoping for more snow, but I was kind of thinking that it wouldn't snow again. I was just like, Ooh. but yay, a new snow day tomorrow. That's gonna be so much fun. Figures the day we took the comforter off ended up being the coldest day in a long time. Yeah, last night was crazy, honestly. It got super windy all of a sudden. The van was moving around. There's some trees over here on the side we were worried about maybe falling on us, but fortunately we parked and parked again because we thought, ah, oh, there's a better view a little over here. So we weren't under the trees. Next thing you know, this morning it's snowing and we're pretty far below the ski mountain. So it's definitely gonna be a good day tomorrow. Graham wants out. You think I should let him out? Yeah, do it. <laughs> you more comfy in here, huh, little buddy? It's pretty cold in here, so we had to turn on the heater as soon as we woke up. But now it's 60 degrees and we've got our warm breakfast, so it's perfect. Are you getting chilly? Come on into the heater, girl. Ben, get oh, that. Come on, a baby. Yeah, we honestly got pretty lucky finding this spot because the first spot we stopped was a gas station and I just wasn't feeling it. Like, oh, if I wake up in a gas station tomorrow, I'm gonna feel in a terrible mood. So we drove another two and a half hours where we're right below the ski mountain pretty much. And Emily found this on iOverlander while I was driving. She drove the first half yesterday. Just turned out really nice here. Nature getting dumped on with the snow. Yeah, we're gonna probably get some amenities in town. We need some water. So the town that we're checking out this morning is Malalcahuello and the ski mountain that we're going tomorrow, which we're super excited for because it's been snowing all morning, is Corralco. 
There's also some hot springs here. I'm not sure if we're gonna check those out. The ski resort is in a national park, so we're actually not able to stay at the ski resort like we did last time at Chiyan, but it should be super beautiful and super natural. Cheese brushed. Cheese brushed. And we found a cafe that most likely has a bathroom <laughs> and questionable coffee. Found the cafe bathroom, but let's go get the water and the laundry done. I love these. Hey, what'd you get? Hey, no water, but I got us some fries <laughs> and some coffee. You wanted those Papa's Bravas at that place, huh? <laughs> yeah, and this is actually one uh, tenth the price. All right, this time we're sending Emily in. Where'd she go, Sombri? No luck. They do have those little bottles of water, so we could get those. We won't go thirsty, but... All right, this building says lavanderia, laundry. Yeah, so make sure to ask if we can do it ourselves, so that would be really good. You mean I'll ask if my wife can do it herself? No, I'll ask if you can do it for us. Oh, sombrita. Are you going to do the laundry? You don't wear clothes. Closed. We'll be back next week. Dice, Sombrita. Man, this little town is sparse. <laughs> yeah, I Overlander has a laundromat. So one time I did, I got a dry bag. And Which is like a waterproof bag. Dissolved some detergent in it and put a couple shirts in it, washed it up like that. The only problem is doing your own laundry, doing your own wash takes so much water. And I tried to do it when we didn't really have water. So I don't know, it was kind of a bad idea. <laughs> it didn't really work out that well. Stuff ended up being still being soapy after, and then it kind of smelled, and yeah, it didn't work out. But I think it would if you had like an endless water supply. So this is the laundromat, according <laughs> to IO. It looks like an Airbnb these days. I see a one of those little portable key boxes right yeah. there. Wow, that was funny. The guy just poked his head out, and he's like, "Nah, that ain't a this ain't a laundromat." <laughs> this is black house. That is so wild looking. Oh man, so we struck out on the water and the laundry, but at least we got to go to the cafe and the laundry, I still have enough clothes. And then the water, well, we're next to a river and we still have a, a water filter that we can filter some water through that. And if worse comes to worse, tomorrow morning while we're heading up to the ski mountain, we can get one of those huge water bottles. We're gonna spend the rest of the day working here and it's too bad because this is a beautiful place and we wish we could explore it a little bit more but that's how we can keep moving all the way down to Ushuaia so let's spend a little bit of time working on this gotta work sometime so if this is the rest day for us it'll be nice to get some stuff done morning Great little spot here down by the river. It was super nice last night, quiet, and we really love being back in nature, but we're heading up to the main event while we're here in this little town for the ski mountain. So let's head on up. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. A new man passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in, so where I can find myself. Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive. 
out, reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky. I found my way. I found my way. I was in the dark against it all, but made it through the day. Cause I found my way. I found my way. In bad times, I know I'll be okay. Cause I found my way. Wow, such a good day of skiing. We really killed it today. It was so cool to be skiing on the volcano. It was a little windy, so the snow got blown over to certain patches. And once we found out where those patches were, oh my gosh, the snow was so good. Very light, so you didn't sink too bad and you weren't bouncing around too much. It was really nice snow. So I tried to buy the tickets online last night, but their website was broken. And it kind of sucked because the tickets online were like only 18,000 Chilean pesos each. So that was like an amazing deal. The best deal we've had so far, for sure. And he went over to the ticket office and it was advertised that it would be over double the price that I found online. But Danny talked to the lady about how it didn't work for us and she said, oh, no problem, I'll honor that price. So yeah, we got the cheaper tickets today even though we couldn't buy them online. And yeah, I think that that was very nice of her. That was a very sweet thing for her to do. Pretty awesome, we had a good day of skiing. Skiing on volcanoes means that it's, kind of, it's pretty steep and super fun. Since we've been in Chile for so long, we only have one week left on my paperwork and also the van's paperwork. We're gonna head towards the border. We're gonna start doing some border stuff next time. So if you like this video, let us know. Uh, make sure to share and subscribe. And if you want to help us out a little bit more, check out our Patreon. And yeah, we'll see you guys at the border.